There's a very interesting article in The Sun. It's big problem. Pfizer's COVID vaccine may be less effective if you're fat, as obese people make half as many antibodies, a study warns. So there's this brand new study out showing that if you're obese, if you're overweight, then you're going to have a problem and the COVID vaccine won't work as well for you. Now, this comes as a, at an interesting time because as we have in the cultural wars right now going on, that um, obese people are healthy. Um, if you're overweight, it's okay. And it literally goes against every bit of health science that has ever existed. Now we have a problem where, well, we're finding that the COVID vaccine doesn't even work as well in people who are obese. Let's go ahead and dive into this article a little bit. It may be because their fat hampers their immune system, which is involved in making antibodies, this, uh, this article says. Extra weight can cause long-term inflammation, which sabotages the immune system and make it less able to fight infection. You know, there's a lot of people speculating, and they were unfortunately um, hoodwinking people who don't know any better. The news did this uh, excessively over the past year and a half, telling people that the reason that COVID was so bad in the U.S. was simply because we had... Um, the current government in place not doing the things that they should. And, and the U.S. was so much worse off than other countries simply because the fact that um, we just were incapable of going through excessive lockdowns and wearing masks and everything. Fact is, none of that's true. The fact is, is that the U.S., no matter what issue you may have in the way of viruses or, or deaths or anything, is always going to struggle because it's one of the most unhealthy places in the planet. We have more obese people than pretty much anywhere. We have more people taking prescription drugs than pretty much anywhere, we have some serious problems when it comes to the overall health and sustainability of um, the, the country's overall well-being. Now, we know that people who live in the United States are all chronically inflamed to some extent. Our food is um, very toxic, loaded with chemicals, and most people aren't taking care of themselves because we live in a cultural, cultural society that believes that taking pharmaceuticals is the route to proper health. Like literally sit back, put your feet up, eat as garbage, uh, eat as much garbage food as you want and take your pharmaceuticals and everything's going to be okay. Most people, this is the mentality in which they believe. And uh, you know what? You don't have to take my word for it, but the fact is, is I've worked with over 15,000 people and um, this is the the, the the typical belief system that most people have. Now, I wish it weren't true, um, being that I actually help people um, fix their health naturally and I promote natural health all day long. Unfortunately, natural health is not reality for most people. Most people are sick, they're chronically inflamed, they're obese, and they have a lot of problems. This is why when you take somebody who has a very poor baseline health, it doesn't matter if it's an infection from a bacteria, from a virus, from any other thing, they are always more at risk because they are chronically inflamed and they are unhealthy. Their baseline health is low. Their immune system is not functioning well because, as this mentioned, um, you know, the fat in the obesity problem will hamper your immune system. Obesity is defined as a BMI over 30 has already been showed to be a risk factor for severe COVID and death, prompting health officials to warn uh, the public to drop some pounds. The fact is, is that health officials in the United States have not done this. There are other countries that have said, hey, look, if you're serious about, uh, you know, not getting COVID and dying from it, you should lose some weight and take care of yourself, right? There are some countries that have done that. In fact, there are actually some states within the United States, some governors that have actually promoted this as well. But when we look at like, you know, the um, guys like Dr. Fauci, when we look at people like the our, our organizations like the National Institute of Health, they're not promoting any of this stuff. They literally are just promoting vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. OK, so it's important to make sure if you are overweight, you know, if, if you want to have an honest conversation and you want to truly live a good healthy life it's important to lose weight okay don't believe all this stuff that people are telling you that uh, being overweight is healthy because it's not okay i promise you it's not um, <laughs> but the exact reasons have not been clearly explained the latest study was conducted by dr aldo venuti of the instituti uh you know i better stop there in rome and colleagues. The team looked at how many antibodies were produced after two doses of the Pfizer bio 
and tech vaccine in 248 healthcare workers, of which only 26 were classified as obese, making it a very small study. Here is actually a look at the study itself. I'm going to stick to the article because this gets very complex and very hard to break down, but I just want to show you it does exist. Lots of different references in here, lots of resources. Uh, if you're one of these people who like to jump into the complicated details and facts of, uh, of the studies, definitely you can check that out. Um, and read more on it. Uh, the team, let's see, uh, let's go ahead um, and go down here. Seven days after receiving the second dose, 99.5% of the people had developed an antibody response that was able to fight the virus. The response was greater in those who were slim, well blunted in those who were fat, even after accounting for age, which can also dampen antibody. Because like, if we look at COVID, what do we know? We know that people who have um, comorbidities, meaning if you have like heart disease, if you have high blood pressure, if you have many other issues going on in your body, it means that you're likely to have some issues if you get hit with COVID. You have a weakened immune system, okay? So we know that it dampens the uh, antibody response. Those who were with a normal BMI range had an average antibody concentration of 325.8 compared to 167.1 in the obese individuals, basically meaning that even though they got the vaccine, it's not as effective because they were obese. Okay. So what does this mean? This means two things. One, what you really need to focus on is your baseline health because it is your baseline health that will determine whether or not you have negative outcomes with any type of assault on the body coming from a virus, bacterial infection, anything, okay? And then the other thing that we have to do is we have to lose weight, okay? Go to Dr. Nick Zarowski on YouTube and I have tons of weight loss videos, okay? I like to keep it very simple. I like to help you guys improve your health. Be sure to like this video, comment in the comment section below what you think about this and subscribe and hit that little notification bell because fact is, is on YouTube, Pretty much subscribing doesn't do anything. If you hit that notification bell, it helps us out a lot. And if you comment and you like and you share this with your friends, it also helps the channel out if you like this kind of information. I look forward to seeing you in another video.